time tonight, millions of North Carolinians might no longer need to ask where's the money. Yeah, they soon have or may have their medical debts waived. Governor Roy Cooper announcing the first of its kind program Monday. All qualifying North Carolina hospitals have agreed to get rid of four billion dollars in medical debt. WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker reports tonight. A scenario anyone can relate to. You were hanging up Christmas lights and with one wrong step, you landed in the ER. A broken leg and in the operating room. You have insurance, but it doesn't cover it completely, leaving you with zero holiday spirit and a massive hospital bill. So what do you do? So we have so many North Carolina families that have to choose uh, oftentimes between paying a medical bill or paying some other bill that they have. And many times that lack of payment results in debt, impacting your credit, creating long term impacts. It adds to the stress, adds to the anxiety. And from 2017 to 2023, the state treasury department stated lawsuits by hospitals towards patients due to medical debt happened over 7,500 times. But Monday, a change. It could drive people into bankruptcy. Governor Cooper announcing it will get rid of $4 billion in debt to help 99 hospitals in North Carolina. That money coming from federal dollars reallocated from Medicaid. Novant opting into the program, saying they are fully participating, and Atrium also telling WCNC Charlotte each person deserves high-quality care. The governor adding this will impact 2 million North Carolinians. You qualify if your annual income is at or below around $52,000 individually or around $109,000 for a family of four, and your debt exceeds 5% of your annual income. It's super, super exciting. Rebecca Cerise with the North Carolina Justice Center says most of this money is rarely paid back. And with the allocation, it will allow people to have a reset, keeping them healthy and able to progress financially. I got into this work because my mom had breast cancer and was not insured. And I saw what they did to try and get money from her while she was um trying to deal with a breast cancer diagnosis and going through um, getting her breast removed and chemotherapy where she lost her hair. The whole time she had to work, she was throwing up. It was a nightmare. And even in chemo, they were hounding her for money. That was WCNC Charlotte's Austin Walker once again. Austin also telling us that hospitals did not have to opt into it. Uh, Atrium Health and Novant are just two that chose to.